Okay. I'll call to order the Elk Creek Fire Protection District regular <laughs> director's <laughs> regular meeting Thursday, August 14, 2014 <laughs> at 1805. Director Branch, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? Certainly. I pledge allegiance to the flag of Okay, thank you. Let the record show that all members are present and Director Fox is joining us by speakerphone. Are there any additions or deletions to the agenda? Uh, I have not. Okay. I, I just have that one under new business. Okay. Is that Alec? I'm sorry. Under new business, uh, uh, just call it the uh, Dan Emming uh, Memorial. Okay. Uh, any other uh, additions or deletions? I don't have any. Great. I'm good. I'm good. All right. So, Something here. Okay. Seeing none, I'd entertain a motion to approve the agenda. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. <clears throat> Motion carries. That'll take us to our first item in the interest of time is our legal update. All right. I don't have a lot. In fact, I almost didn't come, but there was that real estate thing popped up, and I kind of thought, well, I ought to at least come by. I think everyone got the, um, um, uh, well, and for the audience. Um, there's a property adjoining this property that is uh, going on the market and uh, we were made aware of that by a uh, local realtor and so I uh, gave that information to deputy chief, the chief, and the board and um, we uh, uh, you know looked at it, uh, everyone saw it as a possibility because this building if it's not too small now, will be too small eventually, and, and we need to, uh, and we're kind of landlocked here. So um, uh, that was the, the uh, reason that this uh, realtor, who was a former firefighter here at Elk Creek, uh, called me up because he, you know, he was aware of that <coughs> situation. So, but the chief responded and just said, you know, for, um, uh, a number of reasons it just wasn't the right one he says yeah we need more parking that's too low really to do any parking um, as far as expanding the building it may be that this building should be expanded at some point but he doesn't see it as a high priority and given the financial uh, stress that you know this district has been through this is really the time to start looking at, at that so um, and then mr. McGinnis also raised the issue about um, if the board wasn't going to use the Blackfoot property that was purchased, uh, I'm going to say 10, 11 years ago, um, uh, then um, uh, then you could perhaps sell that to generate funds to help pay for this one. But um, uh, again, the chief responded, and deputy chief's here, so he can say what he wants to as as I'm done. But um, was that you know that's still a possibility depending on the automatic aid from Evergreen out of their station five six whatever it is it's yeah, anyhow right. their their south seventy three station um, uh, which has pretty good access um, you know up Black Mountain as well as we do so from your station four. Um, the problem with all of that is your station four and their station, whatever number it is, six I'm going to call it, um, isn't that close uh, and is a man, so therefore there is some time delay. But um, anything up on Black Mountain is not going to be manned either, so you know, you've got those issues. So uh, Chiefs thought, uh, as I understood his email, he never said plus or minus, he leaves that to you guys. but. Um, Chief's thought was that this was not necessarily a, an opportune time to be looking at the purchase of that real estate. So, uh, Chief, is that kind of your sense of it? Yeah, I'm, I'm in agreement. Everything in that email, I'm pretty much in agreement. And I just don't, you know. Yeah, we, we probably do need to expand or remodel this, but I mean, I would much rather see the money spent somewhere else than purchasing 
that adjoining property just at this time. We've got, I think we have a number of other things we could spend money on before that. More private yeah. And that's basically what she said. Yeah. Yes. So, okay. you know, I thought it was a good exchange, but I thought, I mean, that property, I believe, has come up twice in the 37 years I've been involved with this district. And so, um, you know, it may be another 15, 16 years or more before it comes up again. So you need to be aware of those things when they do come up. But um, it's, I agree, it's, it, and it's not ideal because of the yes, slowdown yeah. and some of that. It's just not an ideal property. But it is right next door, so it's something you have to, you can't just ignore totally. And that's, so I really want to talk about that. Um, I also, since I wasn't here last time, you did pass the CORA um, uh, request uh, information and all that. I think that, um, you know, we've seen it already in place in some other districts, and it is going smoothly, and people understand much better what a CORA request entails and all that. So I, I appreciate that that got taken care of at your last board meeting. And, and pretty much handles. And I think that may be it. I can't think of anything else. Um, and Marie and I kind of ran through some other things, but I really don't think there's anything that is, you know, that requires my attention. I will not be here in October, so if there are pension issues, I would appreciate you letting me know. And we either ask the two pension board members to come. Um, uh, to the September meeting, or we hold a special meeting, or something like that. But I will not be here. I'll be out of town on, on your uh, October meeting, which is your pension board. So. Did and you review that uh, resolution for the pension contribution we're voting on? Yes, yes. Okay. I have. And I have uh, gotten back, uh, and I, I think that's we've reviewed it for a number of districts, and and, okay. and strongly recommend it. It's really up to the chiefs. It's just that you all have to go along with it, but it's. You know, it's the chief that's putting in more money into the pension. It's not you right. putting in more money. So there's no budget questions. There's no TABOR questions. There's no money, uh, taxpayer money being spent on it. It's it's um, the paid personnel's. Uh, yeah. I have to know a little bit about this. Adding more money. Into it. <laughs> and hopefully, so they get some money. And is the concept. So. Okay, we're still going to try. I'm paying for it, not my employer. I'm yeah, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it, which so is kind of a no-brainer, right? Yeah. I, mean, I want. But, I'm taxing myself. Let's go with it. So. Okay. So that's all I have. So I'm just, you know, here. If there's questions uh, from the board. Stan, do you have any questions for the attorney? Actually, Mike, I have to admit, in all fairness, I didn't hear a word of what you said. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Did you have any questions on the email about the property coming for sale next door? Uh, no, I, I uh, really appreciated Chief McLaughlin's uh, comments, and I think we should uh, follow his recommendations. Okay, that's pretty much what uh, Richard said, too. Oh, okay. okay. Well, nice to know I'm in good company. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have any questions for him on any other topic? No. Okay. Alec? I'm good. Gentlemen, good. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Well, I will see you next month and then uh, not for a couple months. So. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, next uh, review uh, the July 10th regular meeting minutes. I just asked a question about the audit. Oh, yes. Wait a minute. Um, under the legal update for item B, um, the audit, I believe, was approved previously, but then it was the changes that were approved last month. That's right. Because mm -hmm. those changes were done kind of last month. Okay, all right. 
I would move to uh, accept the minutes as written. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Let the record show I abstained. Aye. Let the, that motion passes. <clears throat> Take us to financial matters, Allie. Uh, you have with you, uh, before you, the uh, financial report uh, for the month of July. Uh, I have reviewed that with uh, Marie, and uh, I think uh, other than a couple of suggestions I had for accounting for uh, radio equipment, um, which we'll have to deal with in the future, I think everything's okay. Um, in terms of monthly expenses, I would move that we approve uh, $150,768 for the month of July. Okay, is there a second? Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Good. Good. Any questions on the expense? expenses? No. No. Okay. That will take us to the fire chief's report. All right. Deputy Chief, where? Um, as you guys all know, Chief McLaughlin's out on a fire assignment right now. So I'll be filling in. Um, first thing I think everybody knows, uh, we had a member pass away, Dan Eming, passed away in a motor vehicle accident in Montana. For those of you who don't know, he'd been with us 35 years. The last, I think, uh, eight, I don't know his exact retirement date eight or ten years have been in a uh, active retired mode. He was still involved with the Jeffco IMT. He held a number of positions here from firefighter to assistant chief. Um, services will be uh, Saturday, October 23rd at 11 a.m. at Our Lady of the Pines with a reception at the Mountain Resource Center afterwards. Last month uh, was a fairly slow month. We had 91 calls, 38 EMS calls with 29 transports, 11 motor vehicle accidents, 11 smoke checks, four lightning strikes, Four unauthorized burning, uh, four public assist, and four fire alarms, and then 14 uh, canceled and router UTL calls. And then our staffing last month, volunteers logged 604 hours of staffing at the station over the course of the month. Uh, the wildland update, obviously I already stated some of that. I was out for an assignment as a heavy equipment boss and sea follower trainee in Idaho and Washington. Uh, 455 is assigned to the coffee complex with uh, Captain Parks plus three, and Engine 435 with McLaughlin plus three is assigned to uh, severity on the last National Forest. Both those rigs are gonna try and extend because they're, they're having quite the fire season. They're having our fire season out there in the last few years. We've also had some personnel updates. Um, Alex Parks has been promoted to Station One Captain. And then Tim Sander was promoted to the Sea Shift cap, uh, Lieutenant. And then Vince Van Binbergen, has been uh, appointed to a permanent position as a permanent firefighter EMT on C shift. And then Ryan Kessler has been hired as a temporary floater position until the end of the year. And that's about all we have. We uh, did get the pickup back. Um, the pickup that was ordered, we actually got that in. We just got it back from the tire shop and then it's actually gonna hopefully go in for radios and striping and all the rest of it over the next week or two. And hopefully that'll get in service here. And. Uh, I think that's Any news on the uh, squad? Oh, the chassis is still, I think, 60 days out is what the guy said. It was going to start from scratch when we had to reorder it. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there was nothing to do with it. Apparently, there were no more 2014s. He said you just couldn't get it, period. There was no haggling or anything. It just didn't exist. Any news on the other apparatus? Uh, first of December. Um, December, I don't know the exact date. First week or two of December is when they should... Uh, be the done. Tenders. Yeah, they, that's when they should be done. And, uh, any, any news on the uh, rescue pumper? No, fire season's kind of thrown a little. We've been talking a lot about that, looking at a lot of different agencies uh, <coughs> who run that same kind of model, you know, the, the rescue pumper idea. We've been slowly coming up with an inventory and, and kind of working on that before we actually figure yeah. out what the rig's going to look like. We kind of need to figure out the job it's going to do, then the tools we need to do that job, and then finally figure out the rig that's going to accomplish those. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other questions for the chief? What is severity? Um, what severity is, and we, we usually end up with it here in Colorado, uh, severity is when fuel, fuel moistures and fire conditions reach such a critical point that uh, the Forest Service and the BLM always freeze up 
some extra money to bring in extra resources so they can hit small things hard so they always have a lot of resources on. So that's the charge code that they're, it's usually an ABC miscellaneous code, which is, it's due to the severe nature of the fire conditions so there. You're sort of bring in. like a strike team or? A that's exactly, you're sitting there doing nothing until there's a fire. They bring in engines. You know, usually on uh, the Pike National Forest, they have five or six engines every summer on a severity assignment. Thank you. Stan, did you have a question for the chief? I don't know. Okay. Thanks, Jacob. Old business, is there any old business from the board? I have nothing. Okay. Seeing none, that'll take us to new business. Uh, the first thing is action on the FPPA resolution regarding member contributions for the statewide defined benefit plan. Should, uh -huh. should be self-explanatory from the resolution, but no cost to the district. It's uh, basically the way the pension funding works. There was a statute uh, passed in 2010 allowing members to contribute more towards their pension. Right. Um, and that's basically what this was. There was a task force put together looking at the pension funding. It was determined that it should use, it could use a little more funding after the collapse in 08. Um, right. So, uh, under that statute, uh, uh, a resolution was formed to uh, contribute 4% more on the part of the employees and nothing from the employer. Uh, the pension laws require that the employers also vote on any change that occurs. The membership did pass this 68%, requires a 65% to pass. Did pass at 68, so the second part of this is the employers to vote. Uh, and obviously there's no cost to the district. Obviously the employees are willing to contribute their own money into their pension funds. So, yeah. I move we approve the resolution that's presented. Is there a second? second? Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That motion carries. Do we need? Do I need to read that in or anything? Right? You might just um, read the number and all that. Number. Okay. Um, a motion has passed to sign the resolution regarding the member contribution for the statewide defined benefit plan. Resolution number 08-14-01. Okay, the next new business item, Alex, would you like to talk about? Sure. The... Um, one of our former members, uh, uh, Jim German, suggested to me that uh, something, an appropriate memorial for uh, Dan Imming might be a bench uh, with, a, with a suitable plaque uh, placed in, a, in one of the parks or some area that uh, Susan Imming would, and her family would like it to be. Um, I don't think that this requires any uh, board action, other than I've talked to uh, Mike and some others, and uh, people agree it's a kind of a good idea. We can ask uh, Chief Ware, Chief Bluff, to kind of follow through. One of the ideas would be to have the, the woodcarver. What's his name? The guy that does this. The chainsaw guy. Yeah, yeah. the chainsaw Linda guy. Linda Lee's husband. The fellow on on uh, seventy three. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. To, to I know who it is, but I can't say his name. Yeah. <laughs> to design a to design a bench and build it for us, um, with the cost being shared probably, you know, on a, on a voluntary basis, certainly by maybe the association and the membership and the district, and then that would be our tribute to uh, to Dan. So again, I'm not asking for any board action. I think it's you know just something we ought to. If people like the idea. We got to just. So we'll direct the chief to explore that option. Yeah. Okay. All right. I have a feeling it's right now. I'm just feeling a little bit more. Yes. All right. Thank you. Uh, any other new business from the board? Will uh, the department be doing anything, participating in any way that is memorial? That dance memorial? <clears throat> um, yes and no. We'll be there. There's a. Uh, we're going to have an honor guard. Uh, we unfortunately don't have an honor guard within Elk Creek. The honor guard is going to be made up of probably some red, white, and blue and South Metro firefighters. Uh, Perry Otero from Inner Canyon is going to be playing the bagpipes. And you know, we're, we're going to be there in uniform, but we're not necessarily going to take a proactive role. There will be no procession or anything like that. 
Okay. All right. That's uh, nice. Understated, but very nice. And we are going to try and help uh, with the uh, with the reception. Uh, we're going to. I forgot what food items we're going to be providing. Something or other. Food, yeah. Something. We've we'll be assisting out, we've with the out food and in, and in stuff. Volunteers. Okay. Any other new business? See none. Uh, any citizens issues tonight? Seeing none, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. At, Aye. at 1825, we're adjourned. Thank you, Stan. Thank you. Thanks, Stan. Bye.